Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Emeralds. In the last episode, we took down Team Magma and Mount Chimney. And in this episode, I healed my Pokemon. I went back and healed my Pokemon. Uh, I just want to check something real quick. No, everyone's gone. Alright. Okay, you can buy lava cookies from this lady. And you might want to buy a couple. They're like full heals. They restore any status effect. Which includes confusion. So, yeah. You might want to buy a lot. I'm going to buy a ton of them. Because they... They are... They are la They cost less than full heal, which cost a whopping 700 to pop, or 400 or 500. Well, I know lava cookies are cheaper. That's why I'm buying so many. In this episode, we're probably gonna try to get to. I don't even know how many I'm buying. We're trying. Gonna try to get to Fall Arbor Town. I mean, not Fall Arbor. We're gonna try to get a Lava Ridge Town and defeat the fourth gym. After I buy enough lava cookies to last the whole the whole game. Alright. How many lava cookies do I have? I have ten lava cookies. And I'll buy five more. Yeah. I want fifteen lava cookies. Yup. Uh, it's twelve. I'm sorry, I'm not getting this up, but yeah. Yeah. Um but, alright, now, uh, 13. Now, right before here is why I wanted you to have the Acro Bike at this point in the game. Even though you do miss one trainer. And I'm pretty sad about that, but, you know what I mean? I mean, like, who cares? Just... Oh, sure, why not? Get an extra lava cookie, just for good luck. Oh, oops. Let's see, let me see. 16 lava cookies. Yep, that's good enough for me. Right. Now here you can use your acro bike. I'm just saying. Uh, I just want to hear the epic music in this. Right. And let's buy trainer. Not Trimmy's Jaggy Pass. Now this is what I've always wanted to know. A Jaggy Bombardius? It rocks my soul. Alright, Tiger Eryx. Now Geodude. Go, Inferno, go. Double kick. Pow. Pow. ba Geoman. Ball toy. He's such a toy. He's just a ball toy. Bow, bow. Ball toy. Uh, I could use dig on it, but I'm not going to because it's not going to affect it. There's an ability called levitate. Ouch. It's gonna hurt. Alright. Losing left knee better. Good. Come down. Come down here. Talk to this magma grunt. Huh. Wow. What is he doing here? And I'm, what am I doing in a place like this? What business is it of yours? Alright. There was a Team Magma Grunt left behind and he's standing in front of this rock. Hmm. It's a little suspicious. Let's see what happens if we beat him in a Pokemon battle. Alright, his Boochie and was a laughing joke. What's his next Pokemon? A number, probably another laughing joke. Yup. A good double kick. If you're a couple levels uh, over leveled, like I am, a good double kick will probably kill anything. Ugh, should have ducked in our hideout right away. Hmm. Okay, okay, I admit it, you shark. Don't worry about me. Go wherever you go. So he's opening a secret hideout. Hmm. Very interesting. Maybe we'll go more into this later. This place is in your hat casual hike. It's not seated for a picnic. Alright. Whatever you say, woman. 
really pretty much everything combustion can beat up I haven't even used dig yet I wonder if it was a good move to use dig and actually now now that I think about this next year I think it was and level up inferno 31 swab go lazy yes lazy yes I, I just love the sounds they make. So animalistic, but I guess they are. I guess they tech Pokemon technically are animals, so yeah. Oh no, the ground is too bumpy. That's what she said. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's scary to shoot down the mountain in one go. Well, you're just standing there, so yeah. All right, Shumish and Magnemite. All right, nothing special. Let's just some sombre road. Uh, I'm gonna use strength and mm, fake out. Actually, that did a lot. I mean, for its power, for the, for its power base and the resistance, it, oh, sorry. I, uh, that did do a lot. I'm going to use faint attack and then nature power. And rock slide. Which actually hits both members in their party, so, yeah. Uh, Alright. You just wasted a turn. Faint attack. Nature power. And my am dead? Right. I feel like I'm falling. Well, good. <laughs> you know why I asked you to go on the acrobat? Because if you say you come down here and you press B, start hopping, you can hop over these things. Which is cool. I like that. Or you can hop over these things so you can go back up if you miss like something you wanted to get. Uh, by the way, you can find spoinks on this route, so if you're wondering. Jaggy Pass starts walk on. It's a good place for training. Oh, cool! And the cap for Ethan sent out a zigzy. Zigzagoon. Great! Alright. Halo. Let's see what you got, Taylor. What you really got, Taylor? You got nothing. Oh, uh -uh, lazy ass. Yeah, look, look how much HP lazy ass has. He has power, HP, and speed. And he has great defense. He, he this Pokemon has legendary stats when it, especially when it evolves. So yeah, uh, I'll get that item later. Yarn Lava Ridge Town. Oh, uh, actually, mm, let's explore the town. It's a very small town, but this is one of my favorite towns. Actually, my favorite town in the game because of its coziness. I mean, it's a small town. And I like the gym leader. The gym leader is not too hard though. 
We draw as much hot water as we need, and yet hot drink never run dry. Isn't it magical? These hot drinks. Yeah. So. <sighs> Two of them. You book my. Oh, a bubble bath or a lava bath. An uh, electric bath. <laughs> We talk to this lady. I have here and there. I'll have to hatch it by covering it in the hot sand in the hot screen. But that doesn't seem to me now. I yeah, you're a trainer, yes, and your Pokemon radiate vitality. Uh, sure, good. Alright, when you received an egg, woohoo. Let me talk to you. Being buried in this hot sand is sad. so warm and heavenly. It, ouch! The Pokemon nipped my backside. Probably a Krabby. I'm just saying. Well, uh, there's, in this house, I'm gonna hurt you. you can get these powders, but they're all very bitter. Now, these can revive fainted Pokemon, but one, but revives are much cheaper, even though I think these heal you to full health. These lower your Pokemon's friendships, which if you want a certain TM, this is not good for you. I'm just saying. Right. Hey, how's it going, champion? About any lava? Yeah, fire type. All right, fire type. Now, as you can probably guess, it's going to be a fire type gym due to all of the fire types being introduced. So yeah, I can. If you go up here, I'm not mistaken. No, I guess no trainers. And this is a double battle, isn't it? Yep. As much as I love mountains, I especially... Now, if I miss a trainer or two, don't be mad at me. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, we're going to be getting our next Pokemon very soon. Yep. There's going to be a new addition to the team. And definitely not far from now. Uh, I'm going to kill this and take out this. <laughs> you see how much tougher the gym trainers are now. Level 23 is gonna keep, and the levels are just gonna keep climbing. But thankfully, I'm just so much stronger. I'm level 30, so this is not gonna be a problem for me. For some reason, I thought it would be like some fire move in here with the. Look, with the area and all, maybe the nature power would be some fire move. It seems to be I uh, lost about other being in control, right? I believe there's another trainer in here? No, I'll show this one. More trainers. Can your Pokemon understand 932, 392 degrees heat? Kecleon. Oh, Kecleon. This Pokemon, basically what it does, it is changes type due to the move you use against it. Like, it's normal type, I use strength, so it'll stay normal type. But if I use Fane Attack, if I use Fane, ooh, Slash. I want Slash right now. The Slash right now with you, wait, wait. See, I don't think Yawn is going to be useful to me anymore. Because I just don't really need it, and I'm probably going to need to heal myself a lot. So I'm going to forget Yawn and learn Slash. So strength is not my only good move. Go train to go. I didn't burn hotly enough. Alright, and I'm going to use... Sombrero now. Sombrero is actually, even though he's a water type, he doesn't do any better than any. Uh, he doesn't do great in this. Oh yeah, yo yeah, yo, yeah. yikes, yikes, the tot. They're all, well, they're basically buried under sand, which I don't know suffocates them. I don't, I think you should plan your gym more accordingly, Flannery. I mean, like, seriously, you could suffocate someone. 
And man, ooh, magnitude seven is one. There, you can have a magnitude ranging from four to ten. But uh, this is magnitude seven. Magnitude ten, no matter what, is deadly, lethal. Definitely life threatening. I'm blinded by the sweat in my eyes. And another battle. I'm trying to leave my stress. Don't come along and stress me out. Man, there are a lot. Oh crap! I forgot to switch Pokemon, didn't I? Oh wait, no, I didn't. Never mind. Yeah, Sombrero. Sombrero guy. Big up. Pow. See, if you're looking for a fire type, I would really recommend Torkoal. If you started with Trico, then I rec would recommend Camtrop. But if you started with Mud, because I wouldn't recommend it for Mudkip, because Mudkip is also part ground type. And two ground types would mean you're pretty weak to grass, even though you have a, you know, something to back it up. It's just, still, I, I just... They... Yeah, it's just, it's going to be tough. You know what? I'm just going to use a potion. Or super potion. I have so many of them. I'm not going to need all of these babies for, bad boys for the gym. Alright. And there's another trainer. Wow, you guys are getting tired in there. Like, I am completely guessing where to go, but I'm getting it right somehow. Mm. I don't know how. I guess follow my route, but I'm probably going to get something wrong. I'm just saying. Yes, I was reluctant to say follow my route. Nature powers swift. Swift can never miss, so you shall die. Ooh, crap. Don't poison me. Don't poison me. Even though you're super effective, don't poison me. Okay, good. I was worried there for a second. I guess the the status effect that I hate the least would... Um, the status effect that I hate the least. Now that I think about it, probably freeze, because you can... Like, it only happens 10% of the time, and you can defrost yourself on the same turn, so it's... One of these people. There we go, there's the trainer. Um, okay. And there's always gotta be a fighting person in every single gym. We have the Metatite with Fire Punch. Yep. Can't go without this guy. Can we? Alright. Yeah, really all this Metatite can do is use Fire Punch. It really doesn't have... I mean, actually, I don't know. It might have Jump Kick, but... It's still in the Fire Fight Gym, so it's probably going to be reluctant to use a move like that. See, Fire Punch. And it didn't do much, but that's because I'm 7 levels higher than it. Yes! Level! Water Spore! I was... Got my hopes up, like, did I... Was I wrong? Does it really learn a water move? Of course, it doesn't. It doesn't attack. It just makes fire moves weaker. And... I mean, it'll be kind of useful in this gym, but... It'll be just cheap. I'm not going to use cheapness stuff like that. Right, and I believe it's this one? I'm correct. I believe it's this one. And then this? Nope, I got it wrong. Actually, wait a second. Wait a second, maybe I didn't. I'm just gonna defy, fight Kindler Jeff. Right now, for now, use Dublek in the face. In the face. What is Slugman? Just a pile of lava that 
that uh, suddenly found a will to live? I mean, like seriously. Or maybe it was in, created in a scientific accident? Where, where a volcano erupted and some cells were mixed with lava and then a girl and a boy were formed and they had babies and then blah blah blah. I'm like, seriously, I don't, I don't get that. Alright. Go up. No, we got it wrong. Alright, uh... So let me try to remember it this way. And it was... This one. Then this. And that. And that. I'm basically telling you which way to go. And then this, instead of the other one. Wait, is there a train here? Alright, now, I think we can beat this gym if I guess right. Did I guess right? Yes, I did. We're at the gym. I'm just gonna save and... Actually, you know what, guys? I'm gonna be right back. Alright, guys. Let's take on the gym. Um, Flannery and I'm gym leader. Uh, dare not estimate. Yeah, 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 blah, blah. Hot moves the opponent on this land. Whatever. Here is Flannery, the fire type gym leader. She starts off with a number with the moves magnitude, ember. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to know because it's the only two moves it's gonna use, to be honest. I'm gonna start off with a bulk up. I'm just gonna bulk up my inferno right now. Can also use Sunny Day, which powers up fire type moves. But unfortunately for it, I am a fire type, so this is powers up me too. I'm going to use Book Up again, so I'm very resistant to moves. Like this is not going to do much to me. Ouch! Critical. I did not expect it to do a critical. And I'm getting really unlucky with the grab. I'm going to use Book Up again to really raise my attack stat. And now I'm going to heal. My, actually, you know what? To make sure I can sweep, I'm going to use bulk up again. And now I'm ready to sweep because I, my attack is four stages up. My defense is four stages up. Okay, magnitude five. That's gonna do nothing. And I'm at half HP now. Now is when I use a super potion and heal up Inferno. This is a strategy you can use for a lot of gyms. All right. See, like I am not taking any damage at all, and I'm going to use double kick, and it's gonna kill them with one kick. Yeah, I'm going to make this gym look pathetically easy. Oh, by the way, I actually probably set up on the wrong Pokemon. You probably want to set up on Slugma, but didn't cost me much. Hit one times, yo dead. Son. Alright. Camera up. Alright, alright. I'm going to use Dig. Because I'm not, I don't, I don't know if I trust Inferno to kill. And, ha! <laughs> yeah! Dig is an offensive move. It should kill. Yep, it's dead. Man, that's gonna level me up. Quick attack. I'm good. I'm not gonna use it. Yes, stop a quick attack. Now, for Pokemon like Torkoal, this is the pride and joy of her team. The Torkoal level 29 with the moves Overheat, Body Slam, Attract, and Ember. So be careful, this Pokemon can paralyze you, attract you, and burn you. As you see, it's trying to use a track, because that's really its only option. But I think it's dead? No! Look at that tank! Holy crap! This is very bad, guys. This is very bad. Inferno has fallen in love, and oh my god. God, here we go. Here we go. Now, I'm not going to switch out. Yes, double kick. 
and I'm going to use hopefully not stay in love and just no ah! but oh crap ouch man why am I getting so unlucky with these criticals yes guys this gym is a lot harder I made it look pathetic I make it I just made this gym look pathetic this gym is a lot harder but this is because of the bulk up strategy that I destroyed this gym. This is why bulk up is such a great move. We got the heat badge from Flannery. Wahoo! Heat badge off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And let's put strength. Don't be shy about it. Alright, the TM50 strength. I mean, overheat. Yeah, it's like. It's 140 power, but every time you use it, your special attack goes down two stages. Alright, guys, we defeated the gym. Wahoo. Now. Yep. We defeated it. I didn't know if we win this episode, but I guess we did. And uh, if we go outside. Tenny, long time no see. Oh, while I visited the hot springs, you got the Lottery Town Gym Badge. You must have collected good Pokemon. No, I believe you raised some. I guess it would be okay for you. Oh, this is such an important item. Go goggles. You'll have no trouble getting through the desert near Route 111. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Your dad. Your dad is actually the next gym badge, and you can go to him right now, but I want to get my next Pokemon first. Uh, there's a couple more things I want to do in this episode. I have about eight minutes to do them, but none of it involves battling trainers. <laughs> Alright. If we use our acro bike right here, you can get a nugget, which sells for 5000 So, yeah. That's great. Alright. You go in the fiery path again after defeating the fourth gym. I'm going to use a repel to speed this up. Alright. You use a Alright, now what you want to do, you want to use this boulder and use Lazy Acid Strength abilities and push this boulder out of the way. And, and you want to do this and then this and a little strength puzzle. And up here, you can get yourself the TM06 Toxic. This is such a great move. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I've been waiting for this TM. Because this is the move I want to teach to Lombre. Instead of Growl, I want to teach it Toxic. Oh, thank God. It, can, it, it now knows Toxic. Alright, good. This might be the move it keeps through the whole game. I'm not sure. And if you push this boulder down enough... And you push this one out of the way. Make sure not to push that one down. You can also get... Oh. The bag is full. You can get the bag is full. Uh, I'm getting, oh, I have two PP ups. I'm going to save those. Uh, toss, I don't need that, I don't need that, and I don't need that, alright. And we have obtained the Firestone. Okay guys, I want to do one more thing, I'll see you guys in just a second. When I do way to where I want to go, I forgot about my secret base. Now, if you remember, we got a doll, we got a low Ted doll. Where do I to place it? Oh, dang it. Where did you place it? In the corner. Right here. Oh, not here. Not here. Hmm. What the? Alright. Yes. Place it on the matter that uh our guy didn't know that. Anyway, uh 
you probably know where I'm going by the route, so I'll see you guys there in just a second. Oh. Okay, guys. Back in Valar Town, if you go to Cosmo's house, it's a meteorite. Oh, crap. I forgot to do something, guys. Let's be back in just a Oh my god, how did I forget? Okay guys, the thing I forgot to do was... Oh yeah, their trainer's up here now. Um... Okay guys, I'll see you in just a second. Alright. Anyways, I just quickly beat all the trainers up here. Yes, you want to remove this meteorite. I forgot to when I battled T uh, Maxi. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot. I should have remembered. I just beat all the trainers here. Okay, guys. I'll be right back in Fall Harbor Town. All right. Now, back in Fall Harbor Town, if you go over to, to Cosmos House after you take away the meteor. Oh, huh? that item could it be? It is the meteor. It is the meteor. Please, may I have it? I'm not asking for a free. Alright, we have just got TM27 return, which is very fitting. And we gave over the meteorite to him. Oh, I can't believe it. This is really, really great. This is really going to help my research. So. Yeah, guys. I think that's going to do it for the, this episode. In the, in the next episode, we're going to get my next, the next Pokemon on my team and battle through the desert. Alright, guys. I'll see you next time for more Pokemon Emerald.